Hi, so quick update tonight. Been um, obviously working on the tan uh, arc on the front section of the primary hull. Um, it's a very kind of light tan color. Originally, um, I believe it was actually a tinted shellac that was sprayed down in layers uh, on the on the very original model. Of course, I'm not. I don't want to use that. Um, I don't want to spray uh, anything over this yet um, because I'm also going to be adding in some additional um, weathering some of the green algae and even a little bit of the kind of red streaks coming in over the top of this. So. Um, so I don't want to do that. I don't want to. I want to leave the flat paint uh, available to me for that. So instead, I'm just gonna. Um, just because it's just ever so slight amount anyway. It's just I just want a hint of that color. So I just uh, ground up some uh, pastel, chalk pastel, um, to give me just a very light shade uh, brown that I'm going to apply here and just uh, do a bit of that here right now. Let me just see here. Let's start a little bit back here. Again, I don't want this very just a hint of the color really is what I'm looking for. It's actually a little bit heavy there. Got a bit more here. thinking right there, but that's okay. It's kind of okay the way it's working where it's not uh, a straight across color. I don't mind a little bit of the kind of the paneling effect still being in there a little bit. See, it really doesn't take a lot of this pastel to get that pigment just worked into there. There, I'm pretty happy with that. I think that's In there, just working in it just a little bit more, just a little evener. It's maybe slightly oranger than I was thinking it was gonna. but I think overall it's gonna be pretty good. I mean it is a it is a it is tan. See the tan color there it is. And it's not a light tan so it definitely has a little bit more orange in it. I say I think that's okay. I just keep kinda keep nice part with this is this pigment I can kinda by continuing to brush, can kind of take it a little bit out of there, so it's not, you know, you can really adjust the level of tint that we're going to end up with here. Um,
There, that should do it, I think, for that. Um, I may add just a dusting of a little lighter color tan on there as well. Uh, not sure about that, but I may do that. I'll look at some more source. decision here. Not sure how that looks on on the shot camera here, but it is it does have a little bit more red than I was thinking. Like when it when I saw it the, pa the pastel it itself looked pretty tan and I compared it to the um, reference color. Um, it is the color that they did apply there, but uh, I think I'm just going to go grab a little lighter one. I think this is the color I want to add just a little bit of this one in here. So I'm just going just gonna to add that here. Let's just grind that up here. One second. Don't need a lot. So that's a little bit lighter shade you can see there. Just make it out, I didn't do a lot of it, but it's enough to just let me lay down a little lighter color, yeah. One nice thing about using pigments like this, you can kind of course correct it, make a judgment, make adjustments kind of on the fly because it's nothing set here too much. I could, in fact, uh, even just erase probably most of this off if I really came to that. But as it turns out, I don't mind just kind of layering in and to get to the color I'm. looking for here. Yeah, there we go. I think that's here. Yeah, a lot happier with that lighter color. Again, I don't know how don't know how much that's coming out uh, camera, but it's definitely clear how looking at it here uh, that we've got a little just a little bit lighter shade to that. will serve us pretty well here. As I say, the next step then, um, so I am going to, I am going to lay down, um, as I think I'd mentioned, the add my space algae. So it's kind of a, 
I've you know I've really gone back and forth on that. One time I was thinking I wasn't going to add that weathering, but um, but I've kind of kind of settled on on in fact moving ahead with that. So um, they're going to be just some some you know the the kind of streaks of the kind of green algae. And maybe even a little bit of that. There is even actually a little bit of the red, I think, um, in there. So, or similar to the red on our on the front of the secondary hole. We'll see. That's the next big thing, though. Um, and then that's really going to be it once I get that added. Uh, one thing I'm going to do is add um, getting some flat brass. Uh, flat brass color um, and I'm going to paint these little turns out I had put all that work to get these uh, my enterprise gray but as it turns out um, they're not actually enterprise gray they're supposed to be actually a flat brass kind of color there um, so that's what I'm going to do kind of to match my I do have the kind of that brassy orangey brass color inside my brassard a collector there so it's kind of going to be roughly a match for that but I don't want to use the orange outright would kind of like to get a bit more brassy kind of color than orange on the outside so but it's going to be similar very pretty close uh, color there and then that'll get that more accurate um, to what's supposed to be I do have the I applied a little bit more of my clear coat flat on my hangar bay uh, dome tonight so that's had quite a few layers and trying to get it pretty uh, pretty kind of opaque um, it's gonna go over and then just to mute a little bit of those colors those colors are accurate but um, they could just use a little bit of uh, I just want it not them not to, to be clear just sort of a, um, a little bit of mix of added just a little bit more there I'm working on that um, as well yeah so really really coming along very very uh, you know, still happy with my my grid lines I think have worked out exactly what I wanted there um, and uh, have a really nice effect and then of course I've got my various pieces here too which are gonna gonna be ready to put on in fact this guy might even be able to put on here before I get too far along tonight, I should go back on. I'm not going to add that piece back until very much later because I'm still, especially as I'm going to be adding a little bit more streaking, but this would be good to get in place. I'm not, um, so the streaking kind of doesn't go under. I wouldn't want that <coughs> anyway to have any of the weathering looking like it went under that because that's, uh, that would not happen. Uh, it would be, if anything, it would go up on to the angle. But it won't even really probably come that close, but still, I think it'd be good to get it on. So I'll do that. Um, in fact, I think that's just something I can... I've got to be a little bit careful with my... I'm sure I don't have to wash my hand here a little bit. Dealing with those pastels, I don't want to... There. So now that's reattached. So, yeah, it's really getting there. Let me just blow this off here. Hold on. There we go. Yeah, pretty pretty happy with that. I think it's um, it's maybe slightly darker than I was thinking. Um, which, as I see, I still may be able to... I can probably get rid of some of that, too. Yeah, just keep working that, and I can actually take that down even some more. So I might do that a little bit. Yeah, there. Good. Yeah, I'm even happier with that.
So anyway, that's where that's at. Um, probably, maybe even show you a little bit of the, if I get ready to do a little bit of the other weather, we might circle back in here. Uh, um, actually, I'm just trying to decide if I'm ready to take that tape off. If I'm happy with that. I think so. I mean, it is, yeah, it's, it's perfect, I think. It's just very, very subtle. Um, you know, not, not, not crazy at all, which is, that's pretty accurate. In fact, if anything, I still think I could even take it maybe even a little bit more off. So I'm just gonna remove even a bit more. So should I get after taking that off? What do you think? I think so. I think I'm going to remove that. Let's have a look at what that looks like. Yeah, that looks great. That's really exactly what I was looking for here. Pretty much. Perfect. Yep. So that's got that piece. Now I probably... Uh, I should probably... I think if I need to attack that anyway, I think it's okay. Um, we'll see here. I gotta. I'm gonna think about. I gotta mix up the um, the weathering that I'm gonna be using. Uh, red. I mean, unless I, I've been. Yeah, I'm gonna mix up uh, my weather colors and um, and. Uh, get ready for that. I don't have to do the darker color. The darker color uh, I've been using, remember, the, the gun metal here uh, previously. So kind of stick with that for the little bit of the dark that might go in there. Um, not that there's a lot I don't expect, but just little little streaks. Um, and then uh, and then I'll mix up the I had used, or if you recall, I'd used my weathering pencils um, a bit, uh, this guy a fair bit times, and I may still, but the difference here is I just want kind of streaks more than that, the uh, way that I'd done it, uh, the deflector dish, so, um, so I'm, I'm not planning to use those so you definitely want to go with the pastel route here um, so yeah that's what I'm working on anyway uh, probably check in here in a bit well hello there modelers um, just thought I'd check in and let you see what's going on with the weathering um, at least at the current moment so as you can see I have um, been working on adding some so I obviously had my arc uh, done last night and I did uh, just put a little bit of dull coat over top of that to protect it so that um, and that's come in handy because I um, where I'm applying the weathering and then I've, I've kind of throttled it back so when I was first applying uh, first applying the the especially the green algae um, weathering it was kind of going on a 
bit dark, but then um, you know the reference materials, and I, I have the you know in reference to the strength of the color, it is it is right. Um, but anyway, so I I have been um, just removing removing it slowly, so. Uh, um, just I have a certain amount on there and I'm kind of just throttling back by kind of removing um, and what's nice here is as I say I'm not removing my tan because it's it's uh, sealed in there and then you can see how I can just keep kind of removing back um, keep just throttling it back so it's just a little less and less noticeable um, and and bearing in mind that it's probably going to be uh, by the time you put a, put a top coat on this that's it tends to dull the colors as well they're not going to be quite as bright they're appearing here as well um, so there is a fair bit of um, this sort of brown the brown color weathering at the back here especially um, I know on the deco version of the 350 it's like pitch pitch brown in and around here uh, this part of the arc um, so I've you know obviously got a bit here but I am just taking some of that off now um, so I'm not sure if that how that's showing up on the screen there um, So yeah, so I mean, I'm getting pretty happy with that now. It always is a bit of an adjustment <laughs> seeing, seeing the Enterprise with this kind of weather. Because of course, when I grew up watching my beloved Star Trek, um, you know, I always saw kind of a pristine kind of vessel, a shining sort of silvery... Uh, but then, you know, I we watched it on black and white TV at first, and of course it looked like that. Um, but, um, so it's always a, it's been a, a bit of an adjustment to get used to the idea that it had weathering, even at all. Because we just didn't, you know, I didn't see it. Um, and this arc, you know, the, the tan arc as well, never knew it existed until the, essentially the restoration work at the Smithsonian. Um, which is great. I mean, I, I want this to be like the model, so that's what I'm going for. Um, and I kind of am, you know, kind of really um, enthusiastic about that. A um, couple other little things. So I'm working on that. I've got, obviously, there's weathering throughout here. So um, there's, I've got some of the, the brown and, and green um, to apply obviously on the bottom I haven't even started that at all but there's definitely I've got some of the edges you can see some of the front facing edges I've got a little bit on there but uh, the bottom's got actually a fair bit as well even it, it's throughout um, there's little bits even on the the uprights for the nacelles I'm again not going to go overboard I mean I'm, I'm going to add it get a level that I'm happy with here um, first and then once I got the right level and I think I'm getting there I mean that's looking pretty nice to me um, and I'm using a combination I had used uh, if you recall I've got the that color that I had ground up and done my testing with and then this for the algae the, that's worked out really well that algae is perfect but I found again as again this brown even though I thought it was pretty bang on it just feels a little red um, and so I also do have this one that I've been kind of topping it with a little bit this is the same color as the tan arc so I just find that the I mean as you can see um, pulled back on some of the red the redder tones there and I've replaced them in with uh, more of the tan the uh, tan from the arc so that's ongoing a um, couple more things I 
um, I'm going, I've decided to paint um, the lights, actually give them red and green. Uh, they're transparent now, but because there's no light from the inside, of course, you only on very specific angles can actually see that. And I've been looking and I just feel like, uh, you can see I added the little red and green uh, teeny running lights on the very tips. And they kind of look, I think I'm going to use that color and color in the main lights as well. Um, they obviously do blink on and off, but uh, the way this is, of course, they're always off. Um, so I'm, I'm fairly sure I'm going to do that. Another thing that I've been, that I worked on uh, was my uh, the light top of the hangar bay. You can see I, I added a little bit of green uh, paint to the bottom of that because that's actually true. So they do have the lights inside, the amber, red, and yellow lights inside, but the base there was actually, they were built, if you look at the actual model, it was built on sort of a green um, sort of plexi material. Um, they were, the, the little light stalks are attached to. So to simulate that, I kind of colored mine, my little dome green so that when it goes on, uh, if I can show you that or not, kind of tricky putting that on. Um, I'm going to attach it here pretty soon, but I just wanted to uh, try to make sure everybody can see uh, there that that roughly like that there, that it uh, looks pretty, pretty great. That's um, pretty much exactly. And if you look at the right angle, you can see the lights in there. That's uh, exactly accurate to the, um, to the actual model, so very happy with how that turned out. Um, yeah, uh, and then just generally still working on um, the rest of the bits and pieces here. I have been thinking about actually frosting more further frosting the nacelle brassard, brassard collector caps. Remember back when I was doing my testing, I had actually experimented with doing orange, which is what they kind of suggest you do. Um, and, uh, you know, a lot of the classic pictures of the Enterprise do kind of have that orange color. But uh, one thing I've been experimenting with is um, what that might look like. And if you remember, this is just my test. Don't ignore this, but this is my test pile on here. Um, Kenosa just was uh, did some etching to frost this dome. Uh, and you're just using the scotch pad. And I'm I'm actually kind of liking that uh, rather than the, the pitch clear look there. So I am at this late stage. The nice part is these just pop off and they're easy enough to change however I want at this point. So I'm actually thinking about just either frosting them like this so that they'll be just have that sort of little bit little bit of diffusion. Or even going back to this and just putting maybe a lighter coat of the orange in there and then also uh frosting that on the outside, so the orange on the inside, frosting on the outside, and then laying that on. So these are all things that I'm still considering. Um, as I say, nice part is these are removable and uh, never too late to modify my thinking on that. Again, aiming for the maximum reality without, this isn't a lit model, so um, you know, there's not a lot I can do to make it exactly like, you know, the, the real model. Um, but I might be able to get closer here. So that's, uh, being thought about. I also did get my, uh, brass. So this is flat brass. Um, yeah, flat brass. That I am going to do these little guys. Um, it turns out, <laughs> after all my careful, um, my careful work getting these ship color, they're not actually ship color. They're actually a brass color. 
so I've got my flat brass to to color those in um, so I'll be doing that as well maybe a bit later tonight you notice I'm still adding I added and added a bit more of the soot to match again um, the model there's a fair bit on the nacelles so that's where that's coming in but there are also my regular tan and green uh, that have to go in there as well so working on that so a few few little bits and pieces still going here um, but it's getting a lot closer and I just wanted to show you the uh, the weathering where we're at with that right so far um, generally looking really good I'd like the it's gotten to the right subtly it's not crazy but it's definitely there and uh, and accurately placed those are the location actually of the of the stripes um, the way that it actually appears so so I'm happy with that all right we'll uh, check back with you in a bit hi everyone just one quick check in here tonight um, so I think I'm done all of the weathering that's gonna that's gonna happen <laughs> um, so you can see I've I did end up um, toning back I think over what you might have seen um, the colors just slightly so they're not you, know, you do gotta kind of gotta look closely there if you look you can definitely see a bit of the green but it's not um, as much as it was you can see even on the so the pylon pylons there did a little bit just just a little and on the fronts of those as well and then on that side too and then a little bit on the other side um, more in this area that's that's normal that's, uh, that's that's again pretty accurate there is a fair bit there so that's just staying like that um, and then the back of course I've got the same maybe I added just a little bit more um, these areas in the to get a, just a little bit more of the soot sooty look there and actually there's a bit of soot actually on the fronts of these nacelles too you can see there so that's that's how it ended up um, I'm you know, really really happy with it I think um, I think it's just the right amount that I uh, that I wanted uh, on the underside as well um, the same same idea there you can see the same little bits of streaking a little bit more of the green back in there you can see which is again accurate apparently on the real model that's on that side it's, this side's actually lighter on the real model apparently but uh, the all the glass here clear or clear plastic um, taped off ready for my gloss coat um, in prep for the decals so that's where we're at um, pretty exciting oh I added the, the white lights as well the white or control or whatever that is just above in the white there so that got painted painted tonight as well so that's ready uh, yeah so I'll get that get a gloss coat on there maybe tomorrow uh, maybe we'll see but in the next day or two anyway uh, we'll get the gloss coat on there and then um, get after some deckling.